Throughout the offseason, DK Metcalf and the Seahawks sounded optimistic that a deal would get done. Today, they make it official. Hello 12s, I'm Jen Mueller with your Seahawks Daily and DK Metcalf knew he wanted to stay in Seattle. He called the Seahawks his family and Seattle his home, but yet the wide receiver seemed a little bit surprised by the emotions that came up after he signed his contract extension. You know, just coming from Oxford, Mississippi, all the way over here to Seattle is a, a long journey. I'm about to get emotional, so bear with me. Um, It really hasn't hit me until now mm -hmm. that um, I'll have the opportunity just to help so many people back home and help my family. And just thinking about when I broke my neck and I was told I wasn't going to be able to play football again. And now just this, this moment happening is just all a blessing. We knew he was a guy that was going to be here. We had to have here for a long time in order for us to um, you know, provide for the 12s a, a, a championship team. The second round pick in 2019 is coming off a career high 12 touchdowns in 2021 and already owns the franchise record for most receiving yards in a single season. He surpassed Hall of Famer Steve Largent in his second year in the league. This young man is, is a cutting edge performer um, <clears throat> in all ways. Um, the way he applies himself, his expectations, uh, the way he's willing to work. There's nothing that he is not willing to do to get to get to the best of his abilities and, and potential. But it's not just about football and it's not just about sports. It's about how he, he attacks everything that he's going for. This is a cutting edge performer in, in a time uh, that he, he is an, an international star on the rise and uh, because he's just so He's so attuned for, for doing all that it takes to be that kind of a performer. And I'm so thrilled that you're with us and you're doing it. And we're going to get to do it together. It's just a, it's, it, we're very, very fortunate. DK's total of 3,170 yards in three seasons is the most of any receiver in franchise history. And he is hungry for more and ready to take on a larger role in the locker room. Leading. Uh, I think that's one aspect that I, I get to step into now. Um, I know we already have great leaders like Tyler and Quandre and Gino and, you know, Al Woods, but, you know, just helping them helping me and me helping them just lead by example and, you know, vocal leaders be vocal leaders and, you know, I'm going to do my part. His extension, along with the one Tyler Lockett signed last year, means 12s will continue to see one of the best wide receiving duos in the NFL. This is such an exciting day for the 12s. I mean, to know that DK is going to be here and be part of this thing, uh, uh, it's, it's, it, and it, it it, we feel it throughout the organization, in the locker room, everybody, we know. And the guys were, when we just kind of made a little announcement today, the guys cheering for him in, uh, in, in, in this room, you know, and everybody cares, and it makes a big difference. And, and the momentum that you feel from, from a, a leader like this, uh, coming back to your club and knowing that he's excited about it and he's thrilled to be here and all that kind of stuff, man, it just adds to all of the energy of the group. So it's, it is really important just thank every, everybody because it took a village just for me to get here today and man, just a big thank you to everybody to help me get to this point in my life and I'm, I'm still not done and that chip hasn't gone anywhere. DK spent the first couple of days of training camp on the sidelines, a vantage point he did not enjoy at all. That all changes Saturday when the team is back on the field and DK is back with his teammates.